dress code. <laughs> oh, gosh. Good morning. So hopefully today is the day that we cross into Kyrgyzstan. Uh, we still don't quite know for sure if we can cross through this border, but we'll hopefully find out today. Uh, it's another 10 miles up this road. I really, don't, I really, really hope we don't have to cycle back down it. I'm of the same okay. opinion. Because uh, it's, it's close, I guess. Maybe I think yeah, there are only it 10 kilometers to border. So. Yeah, it's worth it. We might as well just it's, see it. It's possible to, it's to something, cycle back. If it's something to see as well, yeah. yeah it's, it's just a shame. If it is open, it's a shame if we just turn around. <laughs> so these two police officers just stopped us and said the border down here is closed. Um, we're being stubborn Europeans and not believing them. And we're going to cycle to the border anyway. <laughs> Um, just to see. Uh, we, we've got, what, six miles or something to the border. It's worth seeing it, um, just to see if, if it's going to be open or not. Just going to wait for these police to go. Maybe we have to start walking in the wrong direction, just so they move their car. <laughs> uh, I, but I guess uh, they are waiting I think turn they're... around and cycle <laughs> back here. <laughs> okay. Slow down, because <laughs> I don't want to have to go over that railway track and then have to remount to the other I'm side. They are waiting somewhere I, I, behind the trees. To I see think it. so as well. <laughs> I think we've got, we've got to go a little bit further back to lose them. It seems we've come to our senses and we're going to head to the Terraz border instead of this one. If we started going back down this way, the policeman would have come again. And Suren rightly said that he would be angry this time. Because <laughs> we just ignored. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you can try it. No. But, but we have now. A yeah, yeah sure information is crossed. But instead of heading back down the road that we came yesterday, we've got a different road over here, which apparently is okay, uh, but it's only like six miles, and then we're back to the main sort of highway. Just say 10 kilometers. <laughs> no, six miles. <laughs> Just 25 miles to Taraz, and then another further 10 to the border. But I think we're gonna stop in Taraz tonight and then head to the border tomorrow. And that's where I'll leave these two fine Germans. <laughs> two fine Germans. <laughs> yeah, it's been good fun. But uh, they'll be heading off uh, to Bishkek via Kyrgyzstan. And I'll literally go to the border, <laughs> turn around, and come back to this road. Because my visa runs out tomorrow. So I couldn't have timed this any better, I don't think. So long as my hub holds up. <laughs> Just had a spoke break. That's not good. <laughs> oh my. It's like... Just over 200 miles to Bishkek. This, oh jeez. This wheel, it's gonna be so close if it makes it or not. I can see it just completely exploding and falling apart. So amazingly, we found a really cheap hotel in the center of Taraz. I wasn't expecting that. It was um, like, it's less than three quid per person. 
which is crazy. <laughs> and we've all got a bed this time, rather than last time in Kislorda, we, we only had two beds and one of us had to sleep on the floor. So I've just taken apart the unicycle, um, got my spare spokes out, I'm gonna replace the broken one, because I'm not gonna have time in the morning, so I might as well do it now. Um, and this will give me the best possible chance of it not breaking uh, in the 200 miles I've got left. Yeah. The 200 miles I've got left uh, going into Bishkek. So yeah, tomorrow we'll get up, cycle to the border. We'll all cycle to the border, and then say goodbye to Martin Suran at the border. I'll then try and get back over into Kazakhstan, back to Taraz, and then in down to Bishkek. And. So that's the best I can do, uh, unless I can take this disc brake off, which I can't because I can't take this bearing off. Um, this is the best I can do. So hopefully that will give me some stability, because at the end of the day, this is just precaution. It just needs to last me 200 more miles, and then the whole wheel is going. <laughs> so this is just to try and give me a few more miles before the whole wheel just completely destroys itself. And just a little update, that's what my hub looks like. <laughs> so this one here, this guy is the new spoke. I couldn't get it in properly, but it's, it's good enough. <laughs>